Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Sunday Morning in the Old Cookbook Show. Today we're going to do another recipe out of the Town Crier recipe book. We're going to make a pie. We're going to make a pecan pie. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a pecan pie, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, I've already made the crust. It's, uh, it's in the freezer. I didn't make the crust from this recipe. I used the one that I normally use because I'm very comfortable making it. So we'll get right into the filling, and it starts out with a little bit of butter and a whole lot of sugar. So I'm supposed to cream these together. Okay, that's all the creaming you're going to get. There's only enough butter in this recipe just to sort of moisten the sugar. Now this cookbook is late 1930s, 1938. Um, end of the Great Depression because we're just at the point where the world is going to erupt into World War II. 1930s were also a time um, when there was a change in pecan pie recipes. This recipe calls for one cup of dark syrup. Doesn't call out what the syrup is, just one cup of dark syrup. And I have to assume 1930s um, Caro corn syrup was really pushing their recipe for pecan pie using Caro corn syrup. So I have to imagine that what they wanted to say was Caro corn syrup, but they didn't want to use another brand's trademark in their branded cookbook. I mean, this is for a flour company. So I'm torn. I have a dark corn syrup. I know in today's day and age, 2023, corn syrup has this terrible reputation. And people conflate um, corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup as the same thing. And they're not. They're different. So the corn syrup that would have been called for in 1930s in this recipe, if it was actually calling for corn syrup, um, was not high fructose corn syrup. That doesn't appear in the, in the marketplace in North America uh, until the late 60s early 70s kind of time frame. Um, and even today, 2023, you can buy corn syrup that isn't high fructose corn syrup. Um, if, if high fructose is something that, that really sort of concerns you. I'm not that concerned about it. I know what fructose is. I know what glucose is. I know how the sugars break down and, and what they appear in. I'm not really worried about it. I know that overall sugar consumption is too high. That's the problem. Not so much one type of sugar. So that finishes off a bottle of sorghum syrup, which is kind of more of traditional um, for earlier pecan pies. And the rest of that I will make up with this dark corn syrup. And if you thought the white sugar was a lot, you just wait. We need a cup of syrup total. Okay, so I forgot to hit record. You'll have to imagine me pouring a full cup of dark syrup into this mixing jug. And I know, spray a little bit of cooking oil on the inside of the, of the measuring cup and it'll slide right out. Never gonna happen. <laughs> Never gonna happen in my kitchen. Never gonna happen. So now we mix this all together and then we start cracking in the eggs. There's three eggs. We'll mix this first one in, and then we'll do the next. Okay. Egg number two. You get the drift. You can imagine the third one. Okay, next in is some vanilla. We'll tip in a little bit of vanilla. Give it a quick mix with the mixer. And then I'll just tip in the pecans and I'll use a spatula just to stir them in. Okay, I've got an eight inch pie shell and we'll just get our filling in.
Now it told me to use an eight inch pie dish, um, pie plate. So I've used a tin pie plate. This is seriously full. I'm gonna stick it on this little tray so that if it does run over, it won't spill everywhere in the oven. Now I've got a pizza stone in the oven, oven's at 450, goes in super hot, and then we'll turn down the temperature after it's baked a little bit. Hey, Jules. Hey, that's a good looking pie. Well, I was impatient. Were you? Is it not quite done? I thought maybe it was still hot, because that's also... Yeah, no, it, it could have... Could Impatience have, could mean both. Could have cooled a little bit more. It would have gelled together a little bit more. Amazing. Yeah, it's... But... All the flavors will be there. All the flavors, and... and it'll be better an hour from now. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know. Okay, good snap on the bottom crust. There's something really nice about really warm pie, though. Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess. Boy, who left me out here all unsupervised? <laughs> Damn, eh? So... Mmm! Mmm! It, it's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not the usual, usual sugars. So it was... I used partly sorghum. Mmm! So that adds that kind of citrusy kind of... Like, I don't know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more. It's... it's, it's Peppery. So 19, this is 1938. 1938. Is that what the recipe called for? Um, it just said dark syrup. Okay. So at this point, corn syrup, 1930s, Carol corn syrup is really pushing, making pecan pie. Of course they are. And, and with their corn syrup. And so I can imagine in this time period, someone's grandmother in, you know, 1938, saying, I'm not using that newfangled corn syrup. I'm using sorghum syrup. And using sorghum syrup, just like today, someone saying, I can only use Carol corn syrup because that's what my grandmother used. But this is that time period where there's that shift, where that there's a break from traditional sugars into corn syrup. There you go. But I used half and half because I didn't have enough. <laughs> so... Um, this is a really good pie. Yeah, that's just really let crispy. it just let it cool a little bit longer, um, so that it gels nicely. And yet, it's so good, nice and warm. Yeah, and it's not overly sweet. I mean, there's a lot of sugar in this. That might be the sorghum. Do you think? What do you mean? That it's not so sweet. The the the, the, the sweetness is hidden because of the kind of the the, the spiciness the, that the, the sorghum the, brings the, to the, it. The, the, the other you know flavors, I mean? like, yeah. Like sometimes you automatically things the things with vanilla are sweet. It's like, well, no. It's just vanilla. It's not, yeah, so this is this is not, you're, what you're suggesting is it's not cloyingly sweet because of all of the other flavors associated yes. with the sorghum. Thank you. Okay. Woo! I, I mean, that that could very well be, but there is a lot of sugar in it. There's a lot of tiny little pieces. And that crust is really good, Glenn. Nice job, well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.